emancipate them from a position where they stand in the way of social justice. And to emancipate the people in an orderly way from the iniquity of enforced submission to a doctrine which would turn constitutional provisions which were intended to favor social justice and advancement into prohibitions against such justice and advancement. In the last 20 years, an increasing percentage of our people have come to depend on industry for their livelihood. So that today the wage workers in industry rank in importance side by side with the tillers of the soil. As a people, we cannot afford to let any group of citizens or any individual citizen live or labor under conditions which are injurious to the common welfare. Industry, therefore, must submit to such public regulation as will make it a means of life and health not of death or inefficiency. We must protect the crushable elements at the base of our present industrial structure. We stand for a living wage. Wages are subnormal if they fail to provide a living for those who devote their time and energy to industrial occupation. The monetary equivalent of a living wage varies according to local conditions, but must include enough to secure the elements of a normal standard of living standard high enough to make morality possible, to provide for education and recreation, to care for immature members of the family, to maintain the family during periods of sickness, and to permit a reasonable saving for old age. Hours are excessive if they fail to afford the worker sufficient time to recuperate and return to his work thoroughly refreshed. We hold the night work of labor and women, of, and that the night labor of women and children is abnormal and should be prohibited. We hold that the employment of women over 48 hours per week is abnormal and should be prohibited. We hold that the seven-day working week is abnormal and hold that one day of rest in seven should be provided by law. We hold that the continuous industries operating 24 hours out of 24 are abnormal where because of public necessity or for technical reasons, such as molten metal, the 24 hours must be divided into two shifts of 12 hours or three shifts of eight they should, by law, be divided into three of eight.